So now we know the new bundle that was teased a couple of weeks ago has turned out to be the Viking Raider of Haran DLC. It's a paid DLC on all platforms, $3.29 in the UK, $3.99. And with it we get two new character skins, two new buggy skins, four weapons and two shields. So it's pretty generous I think. The characters are Bjorn the Warrior and Bjorn the Berserker. Now, out of the two, the Berserker outfit is my favourite. Uh, they are very similar. The, the base outfit is the same, apart from you've got a few more details on the Berserker one. Uh, if you look here, you can see the Berserker one has got the, uh, the added shoulder details there, the ram's skull, uh, which makes him look really mean, to be honest. Uh, the Ber Berserker's definitely the most scary-looking outfit. The Warrior one's definitely the more bland of the two, in my opinion. So, the weapons. A new two-handed heavy axe called the Ragnarok. Uh, it's one of the base weapons. We also get some fire element versions. I'll show you later on in the uh, video. I use an extravagant fireman's axe to craft this one. You've got three upgrade slots because it's a gold weapon, but you can only add blueprints to the standard weapons, not the elemental ones. So yeah, uh, axes are really good. I don't normally use them because they're quite slow. Uh, you can be overwhelmed quite easily if there's a crowd of zombies, but if that happens, a charged attack will take quite a lot of them out. As you can see, you do a full 360 swing. Uh, also, you've got the option to just throw the thing. And uh, yeah, do not forget though to uh, take it back from the zombie's head afterwards. You don't really want to lose this weapon once you've got it, even though you've got the blueprint. Uh, you still don't want to be throwing these things away. Now, the Aesir, the one-handed sword. Uh, beautiful details again. I use the legendary military machete for this one. And uh, yeah, if you look there, it's, it's got a lovely kind of, uh, you know, wooden root running up the blade there. It's really, really cool. And again, I did not use any upgrades for this weapon, no blueprints. This is the standard weapon, although I did use a gold weapon as a base. Uh, it's pretty effective at uh, slicing and dicing, and a charged attack will literally cleave the zombie straight down the middle. Uh, I'm going to do it again to this one, just watch. Lovely. Uh, I've become a butcher. Uh, anyway, the Asgard's Protector, the new Viking shield. Uh, you might not have used shields before, uh, you need a certain amount of components, there's no kind of base weapon needed. But it is effective if timed right, it will sort of knock the zombies off balance and allow you to uh, get an attack in there. And the shield does provide protection from various forms of attack, but they do break eventually, so you'll just have to craft a new one. So, the Ryanin Buggy Skin. Uh, obviously you need the following DLC for this one. Uh, once applied, it's got a lovely kind of wooden Viking ship effect. You've got the engraving on the bonnet and the Raider of Haran on the front wing there. Uh, blue and white checker flag on the door and the lovely Viking engraving on the boot there. Don't know what it means, but it looks good. Now in the past, with most DLCs, that would have been it. However, this one treats us with an extra set of everything, but with a fire damage element. The Ashes of Ragnarok, the Fiery Aesir, are the better looking cousins of the weapons we've just looked at, and are best viewed as the sun's going down or in total darkness, as all of the lovely details that were on the weapons now glow in the dark. And uh, they also kind of give off a smouldering heat effect as well, which is, you know, a nice little detail. Now, the shield was supposed to set people on fire, according to the, uh, the kind of bio, but uh, I couldn't get that to happen. However, the sword has no problem in setting people on fire. Uh, zombies, rather. <laughs> And also the Ashes version of the Ragnarok has no problem setting everything on fire. It's a great elemental weapon and you'll have no problem going through all of the zombies with this one. And uh, yeah, proof that the shield works, uh, it definitely stopped that alpha from getting me there. And it also saved me from a right hook from a demolisher. And when timed right, even managed to knock him off balance, as you can see there, and enabled me to finish him off. <laughs> Which, uh, yeah, proves how powerful the Aesir is. Although this is on normal, I must say. And finally we get to the fiery version of the Ryanin, uh, which with those red spot lamps looks really mean. However, if you haven't unlocked the spot lamps for your buggy, uh, they're not going to be there and it does take a lot away from the look. Uh, however, the details do glow in the dark, the same as the weapons, and uh, that in itself looks quite sweet. Uh, yeah, it, as with all of these uh, secondary elementary weapons, they look better than the standard stuff at night. So I think this DLC is well worth £3.29. The elemental weapons alone make it worth it. And uh, you're getting twice as much in this bundle as you have done for previous ones for similar money. And uh, also all of the blueprints are gold weapons. And I know how popular they are in this game. 
And speaking of gold weapons, they've made the docket for the Dragon's Breath bow available again. Now this is a great gold bow, and uh, that's what it looks like. It's fantastic. Uh, lovely Chinese details on it. I'm sure they've re-released it again because it's the Chinese New Year, and the Lunar event is now on, but uh, I'll take it. Now if you used it last year, it's the same code, so it won't work again this year. Uh, however, if you haven't, then get yourself over to the, to the docket site and redeem this code now. Uh, it, you will need for the blueprint though a Bozak bow, so that's the only downside. But uh, once you redeem the docket, it will actually give you a physical version of it, so uh, just try not to lose it. So yeah, uh, as I said, go to dockets.buyandlikegame.com to redeem it. Now, uh, it's in Chinese text, this code. That's why I've not actually put it in the video, but I will leave it in the description. So uh, yeah, if you can copy and paste it into the redeem box using your laptop or Chromebook, unfortunately the YouTube app won't allow that. So I hope you liked the video, and if you did, please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.